was just on a show the other day, and there was a little conversation. It's a local sports show here on Comcast Sportsnet. And there was discussion about Adam Morrison, who just got brought into Wizards right. camp. And everybody was saying, Adam Morrison, he can't rebound, he can't pass. Is that just because he doesn't have the opportunity to flex those kinds of skills? I think Atan said it best yesterday. Adam Morrison's problem right now is confidence. Mm. I mean, here's a guy that comes from Gonzaga. People are comparing him to Larry Bird. That was right. He comes out of yeah. college. He's supposed to be this Larry Bird type of player. He's playing at Gonzaga, which if for all purposes, it's a great school, but he does not play against top-level competition every night. Mm -hmm. He dominates at that level. Now you come to the NBA, every night you're playing against a guy who is the best player at his school, at his position, at his mm -hmm. conference, and that's tough to adjust to. And then all of a sudden these expectations are on top of you, and now people begin to question you and doubt you, which you've never had before. And on top of that, he got injured. Mm -hmm. So he's recovering from an injury. He's facing these expectations. That's tough for a kid. And once you lose confidence in the NBA, it's a difficult road to get back because once you don't believe in yourself, then other people start to pick up on that, and now it's doubly tough. You mm -hmm. know, If you look at J.J. Reddick's progression, his first three years in Orlando, he didn't play, right? but he was on a good team. So right. it was nobody was really saying much about it. He's progressed to where he's nicely become a part of that rotation, but it took some time. And I think Adam Morrison was just a victim of his own expectations. And he got mm. picked by Jordan, by the way. So. <laughs> what is that? A, a, kid, a, a kiss, kiss of, death. of death? Is that the kiss of death? <laughs> yeah. The, 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 where someday we'll have the all Jordan all stars with Kwame. And uh, oh, that's not nice. Let's just keep going from that. Right, Kwame's right going to do well. You think stop so? bashing Kwame. He's going to do well. I know. Like someone mentioned the other day, like you realize he's about to enter his, like, what, ninth year in the NBA. I mean, and he's still only like what 27, 28. Yeah, he's gonna, he's, he's gonna, gonna, gonna he's yeah. He's, I think the other thing too with Kwame is he was a number one pick. That's not his fault, right? right. Like people keep saying it, like he made it, like they picked him. Now whether or not he's become what everybody thought he is or shouldn't be, they made him number one. Look, pick. I look, I'll say this, and I always tell this story. I saw Kwame Brown's workouts, and he <clears> was <throat> the best player in the draft. I <clears> saw <throat> him going against Tyson Chandler. Saw him going against Eddie Curry because they brought him in and had him go one on one. Mm -hmm. He dominated them. Wow. Yes, he was the best player. In and, the and, and other than Gasol, name me somebody from that draft you would have taken. Yeah, that's very – you'd have to go to the second round. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Gilbert Arena. Gilbert, yeah. yeah. You know, so I think people look at Kwame and, you know, I just think it's unfortunate. Expectations, but it happens in every sport.